now to see the work like in person is like a whole other conversation the narratives that's happening with each other but like I was I was DMing you last night the first time that I got the, a picture of, of the space like I was so excited to see these two things in conversation mm -hmm. with each other and like I was I was like, oh, I, I just love, like, obviously the imagery of, like, the CD-ROM next to the, 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 the solid cast glass, like, barbell. But I also love the language of, like, this cast bronze, like, the, the branch that's kind of, like, undulating and breaking mm -hmm. everywhere. And it has that, you know, interesting kind of visual narrative next to... So when I was asking you this, I, I referred to them as brush strokes. Um, but I'm interested to kind of, like, hear your ideas about that too like I know you said that these are brush strokes versus some of the airbrush like specifically these kind of like white lines yeah you know? so um, I was like really intrigued by like just the visual or the visual language like right next to each other so, yeah like, totally I think it was really good installation choice they both move through the space in a similar way I think I think they both have this like abrasiveness to them um, that works really well together jagged branches like really kind of like moves the same as uh all the crazy splatters and the brush strokes like i did a little more on that one than i would on some other paintings because i wanted it to have that like kind of chaos to it you know the hardest part is like of a sculptor that like, i find that like what i'm working with is like the sporadicness of making work is lost sometimes right mm -hmm. because it's like you might have the idea but then you have to go through this tireless process of actually of making the thing. Yeah, that's what I find interesting about, about your process. Because I've been working in bronze, you know, for like 15 years. You know, it's crazy to think about because I'm only 36. But like, I know what the material can do so much that like mm -hmm. oftentimes, like I'm just like walking through like the world and I'm like, oh, that would be interesting. Not only in bronze, but like how can I kind of hack the system of casting metal to make that object and yeah. like like the styrofoam box is completely like that way it's like okay. so traditionally to make like a lost like to make bronze casts like i don't know how much you know about it but it's you know a process called lost wax process so usually you know historically you would make something in wax first because mm -hmm. the wax can become solid but when heated it can obviously melt away yeah so you first make it in wax and then you bury it in this kind of refractory material and this is like layman's terms and then like you kind of like melt the wax out of that refractory material okay. and dump metal into it that's like simple as can be i see but there's other ways of doing things that i employ a lot in my a lot a lot to completely not even use the lost wax process so like this piece like i take like an actual like discarded beat up styrofoam container yeah. and just knowing that you know so the same idea that if you heat the wax up and when the wax gets out of the shell, you dump metal into it, you have a positive in metal. That the styrofoam, it's not gonna melt, but it's gonna burn, you know? So okay. I do the same process, but I burn that styrofoam away. And I just think that like, so it comes from like this initial urge of like, oh, I know I can do like kind of use this process in a new way. So like, how can I do it? And you know, obviously that lends itself to a million failures. But then once I, I get those things, then I'll have these all things, these things casted. And like, so I have no idea like kind of what they're going to be until like my, okay. my studio is filled with these things. Yeah. And then I start tinkering around, you know. And piecing things together piecing like that. Piecing things okay. together. That's and what like, I didn't know about your process. Yeah, for sure. And like, you know, the, the heat tints on that were like one of that immediate kind of things. It's like, then I have this material, you know, and it's like, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want the thing to just be like the thing itself. Although some of my work is like that, just that direct translation is really yeah, interesting. Yeah, but the choices of casting it into like glass like that, or like the, the rubber gloves that are Correct. casted into glass. And uh, I think like those choices do make the works like really unique yeah. in that way. So like, I would be interested to hear also about like your decision making too, like in the studio too, because it's like that premeditated, like, do you have those also like kind of ideas? Like when you're, cause you're like combining multiple symbols and imagery, yeah. like, you know, putting things together, mm -hmm. multiple processes too, you know, like, especially when you're using the brush versus the, you know, the, the airbrush versus the actual physical brush. So it's like, how do you make those types of decisions too? Yeah, so a lot of like the, the images that I do paint, like I use reference images for them. So a lot of like, a lot of like, um, the like premeditated paintings, like I'm 
I'm making digital mock-ups of these images that I compile that are either ones that I take or obviously like ones that are very like so like sourced from the internet um, and I just try to like when I make the mock-ups like that I try to like layer them in ways that I think it like has a good like, form of communication but a lot of the like line work on top um, is like an afterthought you know um, I'll mm -hmm. make little drawings and I'll bring those into the computer as well and just layer them up and use all these like like scans of like paint splatters and stuff and I try to like arrange those in a way that I think works with like how the subject matter turned out like the way it's all laid out mm. composition wise um, these ones I use stencils to do like the the CD case around it like a lot of those sharp lines but like the background I just try to play into like the the effect of the airbrush you know like if I'm making like if I'm using a vinyl cutter and like pre-making these stencils like it's a lot more of a precise process than I like. I like there still to be some like intuition and like problem solving without like using perfect shapes with masking. Yes, you know, like, like, like I, I like, like to like... carve these like images out of the like surface instead of putting them together like puzzle pieces with a lot of use of like taping and masking. So there's no vinyl cutter at all? No, I don't. See, that's like super cutter. interesting. Like, that's I want like one. What I'm... Just... You want one? I want one. <laughs> because like when I look at like that, you know, from a distance, of course, like mm -hmm. it almost looks like vinyl cut, maybe like, you know, you put yeah. down and, and then you peel off. Mm -hmm. But like what you just said, like really adds so much depth to the work to me. A lot it's of it. like so much like the idea that like you're take in, in the same way that like when you're casting something, you're taking something from like the real, mm -hmm. right? And like, what is the idea of like what that real thing is when it has to yeah. go through a, a process? and that's what's surprising to me is that especially the way you explained like the process of that work like you really don't know how they're going to come out exactly and, like, yeah my like the way i thought it would work is like it's very precise you know you're working with all these like really difficult to work with materials and i thought that it's like more of a sure process but it's not and i find that really interesting yeah i think that that's actually a really like kind of behind the scenes look into both of our practice that kind of like links it together which is really interesting mm -hmm.